Oh, you wanna, you know, you don't get to see an orifice that size very often. I just, I like peanut butter and jelly too. I mean, there's things, when you're out on the road, you gotta have things that don't spoil so quickly. Uh, cold cuts go bad, especially when the car tumbles over and over and over again, and then lays off to the side of the road. Sandwich is so bad. I want to get you up.
until you reach an elevation where you can jump no higher. What perfect metaphor is for life? Where your head goes, the body follows. Jesus! Don't obsess over the mountain you're climbing, just climb it. And finally, constantly raise the bar on your aspirations. Just as I trained for the Olympic Games, sacrificing mind, body, and soul for one victory, you must train for the game of life. For Somebody that turn your whole shit off! Perfection emerges. To the golfer, it's the hole in one. To the bowler, it's the perfect strike. To the salesman, it's a record year. To me, it was clearing a seemingly impossible height in the high jump. And boy, every other boy, event in the boy. You don't need that stuff. <laughs> he doesn't need it. Plus, look, listen. Bruce Jenner has got more mileage. Of course, he's an athlete, but more mileage out of one fucking decathlon. Than, I mean, my God. And, and you don't need it. You don't need it. There's no, and you, you, you just sit there. Telling us how to make ourselves better. Hook it with your Look! Look at me! Look at me! I'm not perfect, and I don't give a flying shit. You know what? He does have one point though. He talks about when there's something you want, you gotta reach higher and you gotta go and get it. I like to go and get it too. But yeah. you don't need it, boy. You do not need that decathlete. You know what? Actually, I think he's an expert in 11 events, not 10. Facelifts. He's had like seven or eight of them, that son of a bitch. You know, you keep pulling it up tighter and tighter and tighter. You know, your teeth are gonna be white then, because it's always short. It's funny though. Bruce Jenner does kind of make me horny. <laughs> you know, there's one way this country's kind of heading in the direction. Ass fucking! A lot of ass fucking! Yeah! yeah. I see it everywhere! Yeah. And you know, since we're going to incarcerate like a third of the male adults in the next 20 years, they better get good at it. Yeah! So I'm just here to kind of point us in a direction. And this song here is a nice interlude. It's about gay phone sex. <laughs> so if you know, like, you know, you got a you got a court date coming up, and you're gonna be heading to prison, you might want to call up a gay phone sex line to get yourself into shape. You know, I'm not advocating it, but if you're gonna go there, you better polish up Darth Vader every now and then, or you'll get sick. With your pocket I'll stick. Be, uh, I'll break you in the morning. And I'll be uh, I'll break you in the night. And I'll be uh, I'll break you in the morning. Call me uh, I'll break you in the night.
Hey, Spielberg, take it easy over here, though. <laughs> guitar because I that's too heavy. No. You know what? This is Ben Halen style. Not quiet. Where's where's Butchie's little tiny guitar? I need that. You know my little guitars. Okay, let's do some bad hailing then, fuck it. <laughs>
This one goes out to Grandpa Bell. Yeah. A drunk son of a bitch has been dead for a couple years now, but I still miss him.
Our military forces and those in China and the Soviet Union have all pushed the train to an um, upper echelon. We can't be remiss and forget our past and forget some of those who were here long before us and their wonderful techniques. And for those of you who are uninitiated, of course I'm speaking of the uh, indigenous people, the Iroquois Indian of the Upper New York Plains. Now they had some of the most wonderful torture techniques. And, well, you know, some of their lighter fare was uh, such as taking a man and slicing the skin off the bottom of his feet, and then they'd take corn kernels and pack them in, and then they'd sew the skin back on with leather, leather banding, and then they'd force them to run around a fire pit, and if they stopped running, they'd jab them with torches. It was pretty neat, I imagine. But that really pales in comparison to a, a rather vivid tale recorded by uh, some of the early cavalry. You see, one time, the Iroquois Indian took hold of a man. They decided that they wanted to roast him over an open fire on a spit. Speaking of spit, you know, that doesn't smell like the stuff we were smelling last night. <laughs> Anyways. You got that right. So this one lucky fella, he kind of won the, the lottery of hell, if you know what I mean? Oh yeah! They put him, uh, well before they put him on the spit, they jammed about four or five pounds of raw meat up his ass. The story goes that it was bacon. For those of you who've got a, a preference. So they jammed some, I'm guessing, peppercorn bacon up his ass. And then they tied him off to a spit and left them there to roast overnight. Well now, given that this group, this band of Iroquois, had some predilection to the imbibing of certain alcohol grain beverages, they passed out. And this lucky fella, you know what he got to do? He got to get free. He got to get free. But the fun part of the story is that he was about five or six miles away from his home camp, and it was freezing ass cold, and it was snow everywhere, he was gonna die anyways. Except for the lucky lunch pail of his anus. He actually lived on the trek back to the camp by eating the meat out of his own ass. you feel like reaching over and hugging somebody that you're standing next to, embracing them and just thanking God to be alive, and that there's probably fast food nearby here, but I don't know what will. And as, an, as a very nice, tidy segue, we will go from one song or story about pulling meat out of your ass to my personal favorite story about putting meat into somebody's ass. And it's the last of my anal fetish songs, okay? I promise. You're talking about ass fucking! Yeah. 
you might even bleach, you might be
sing my hardest.
Yep, there it is in the van. Just hanging out by the dumpsters. No, by the dumpsters. Throw the guitar in the van. Pack it up. Pack up the bus. Pack up the bus and get it ready to put in the booty. Pack up the bus for the bucket.